Hello, everybody. Welcome to Athletic Gamer. I thought I'd give you guys a quick update on Versace. Level 41. Getting up there this time. Makes me the seventh highest rogue in the world. I'm on page three of the uh, listings now, out of uh, 50 or 51, however many they have. Here I am in Anderhall, standing on top of this thing. Little did you guys know that... On top of these, this little disc here is actually plush carpet. You can tell because my feet are going through it so much. And yeah, nice thick plush carpet. It's nice to to have a little rest on uh, the plush carpet. It's like a little massage type thing. Actually, you know what it reminds me of? Those uh, sand dollars that you'll find at the beach. You can see every now and again as well. Ooh, there it is. A little sparkle on my hand. See that? <laughs> that is from this, the Nobles Elementium Signet. And those of you guys that uh, might know it, uh, it costs 2,500 gold. And how did I get that on an Iron Man character? You're not allowed to transfer gold over to it, you say? Well, I didn't. I have 8,435 gold. While I was uh, questing in Stranglethorn, I got the Hyacinth Macaw to drop for me which uh, quickly sold overnight for 10,000 gold. So my uh, gold troubles are done. Uh, oh, nice. My swords are kind of sticking through there. Um, I think this thing is supposed to be uh, airtight, which means as soon as I sit up, that's going to be punctured. All this gas is going to be released that's in here. And we're all probably going to die a horrible death. So I think the best choice of action is for me to actually sprint out of here when I'm done, because, uh, you know, that might uh, might interrupt my, my game. I don't want to die simply because I punctured one of these things. But as for now, it seems like it's sealed, so I'll just stay there. So, uh, I wanted to give out the seventh physical challenge. We're working on our push-ups. I'm going to do physical challenges till 10 on push-ups. Then we're going to be working on losing weight. So, physical challenge number seven. We're going to be doing diamond push-ups. Diamond push-ups works your chest and your triceps. We were using our triceps last time with our tricep dips. So this will help strengthen those triceps a little bit better. A diamond push-up is simply when you bring your hands together. Uh, they call it a diamond because you can actually bring your hands so your fingertips and your thumb are touching and they make a diamond pattern on the on the ground as you're doing a regular push-up. Uh, the further you bring your hands together the harder it's going to be and the more it works your triceps. So what I want you to do is adjust your hand settings so you can do anywhere between 10 and 20 of these. If you're super strong and you can do over 20 in the hardest uh, position which is your hands your fingertips and thumbs touching and your toes on the ground then just do however many you can and set it between 10 and 20. If you can't bring your hands together and do any from your toes because it is it is tough go on your knees and do it that way. I'm in combat and people throwing boots at me. Get out of here. Oh, I better sit down quick. There, okay. Phew. So, the, uh, do, it, do them from your knees and bring your hands together to the point where you can do 10 or 20 in one go. We're going to do 40 sets of that. 40. <laughs> That's a little bit high. Let's try four, not 40 sets of those. And, uh... And yeah, so that's Physical Challenge 7. I have a bunch of clips to show you as well. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds a little uh, screwed up. I do have a cold today, but I'm still going to work through it. I'm still going to do my uh, physical challenges and everything like that and keep up. So, uh, the clips that I'm showing you are the clips of uh, the most exciting moments over the last uh, 10, 12 levels or so. Hello, everybody. So, uh, here I am getting ready to, to pull King Bangladesh. If you guys remember from, I think, my previous video, I was talking about uh, how 
this guy killed me with my last tune. So I decided to record this part. Uh, here I'm just clearing out the mobs around it because I learned from last time that for some reason he likes to pull mobs that are like a hundred yards away. So in the last in the last uh, game, I had uh, he had pulled this guy that I just killed and another guy just down the cliff, which I will pull in a second. I'm still playing in the old style of using slice and dice and uh, deadly poison. I did end up changing that. I have double in instant poison now, using eviscerate again, because uh, I just take too much damage and I'd rather be able to keep the control by doing lots of gouges. So I'm pulling that guy off the cliff uh, with my throw, and my uh, throwing axes or whatever. You can see on the mini map now um, if the resolution is good enough. The, where King Bangladesh is. He's usually on top of this uh, pillar, but he also patrols around the edge of the pillar as well. So, I'm gonna eat up, get ready for it. Here he is down there, and uh, he'll be jumping up, and I know I've cleared out the area around the base of the tower where he's heading to, so I'm just checking out to make sure there's nothing around the edges of the tower. And then I'm going to attack him, and. Uh, use my rogue like cheating abilities to get away from the two mobs that he spawns. He spawns two extra mobs at 50% health or something. So it's important to save uh, some of your damage. So here I am. Here's the two mobs, and I just hit him with a quick eviscerate, popped off the last, and vanished, and I'm out of there. Whew, and there we go. Half health, and a uh, ton of experience from that quest. Okay, and here I am uh, with a really quick fight with Air Edge, the Summoner. Uh, this is a tough one. Make sure to put uh, the grenade that you get in your hotbar because you're going to have to use it. Here it goes down. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed those videos, those little clips. If you did, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, I like the feedback, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Keep it real, keep fit, keep gaming. Goodbye.